What's up, guys? Welcome back to our journey of completing all the main quest Easter eggs here on our second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Ashton saying they want us to do the Forsaken Easter egg using any weapon of our choosing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And for that weapon, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the M16 here. Really quick, my build, I have the Cobra Red Dot, the SOCOM Eliminator, the Strike Team Burrow for that added damage and fire rate, the Ember Sighting Point, the Bruiser Grip, the Salvo 54 Round Fast Mag, the Speed Tape, and the SAS Combat Stock. And I think I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and throw on Dark Aether here. Don't get to use it too often, so might as well throw it on. And then for our field upgrade, I wanna use Aether Shroud until we get to like the boss fight. And then I think I might switch to Ring of Fire, but it's been a while since since I've done it, so I guess uh, we'll see. Anyways, let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get this thing done. All right, here we are, running on into Forsaken, and I have not done this Easter egg in a bit. I think it's been since the Easter egg came out. Like, we did it, like, right around when it released. We we're trying to figure out the steps. We we're some of the first people to actually get the Easter egg done, which was pretty cool, but I have not really done it since then, so... Um, I'm going to be a little rusty, but hopefully we can get this done. And first thing we're going to do is try to get through this portal because these rounds just will not stop unless you go through that portal. And I have a habit of doing these Easter eggs on high rounds, whether I, I mean to or not. But we got about six seconds before we can head through this thing. Come on. Let me through. There we go. Beautiful. Made it here on round three. Now we're going to farm a little bit of points in here until we got enough money to make our way all the way over to build our portal to get to pack a punch so we basically just have to play the map as normal until we can lift the lockdown and start up the whole cutscene thing and i should not have hit that nuke that's gonna hurt us for points and right, let's get this map opened up now we have a little bit of change we can go ahead and pop this open as well i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hit the trials machine the box we're gonna do the Horizon track arcade machine and we're gonna do the royal ray gun pizza delivery thing all in attempts to try to get the crystal axe hopefully we can get it through there if not we can just go ahead and build it well, let's get this portal built and there's our part let's open this up uh where's your flashlight sir there it is let's open up the tv store and grab our tv do we have enough to get burger town open i think so oh let's grab the loose change before our double points is gone let's go where's our fry cage there it is Let's go ahead and rebuild this portal. We'll repair it. Let me through. And we might need a little cash to open this door, but we might just have enough. I can't remember, 2,500 or 75? Oh, we got enough, baby. Let's go. What's up, Abomination? Come on through. One for each head. Now get ready to get clapped. Go ahead and charge, idiot. There we go. Got one head down. Second head down. Last one. Go ahead and open up for me. There you go. Night, night, buddy. Give me that max ammo. Now we can lift the lock down. Grab our loose change from PhD. Can't forget that. And we got to hit this button and start the cutscene. Oh, look, it's Zykov. Oh, now Zykov's off the perks again. He do be looking swole, though. Zykov got big. Now he's pissed. Get him, Kravenchko. Oh. Let's go. Oh. I love how Kravenchko just tosses his pack around, takes his eye out, slaps the shit out of him, and then just effortlessly just takes out all these zombies. Kravenchko's my hero. I guess Maxis helps too. All right, good luck with that, Maxis. I'm gonna go ahead and start a trial. It has zombies in location that's underneath us. Okay, we can make it there. Oh, actually, this is perfect because we can go ahead and start up this part of the Easter egg. Normally you need four people and you need to do it all at the same time. You're playing solo, you don't. You can just start it right up. And hopefully we can get this trial all done. We already got it to common. That's pretty good. Let's Aether Shroud. Stun these zombies. Hit them with a nice nade. How you doing? Keep it moving. Already got it to rare. I am a little scared though. There's a lot of strong zombies over here. Or at least elites. On round six, I got no armor, no perks. No. Okay, hit the self revive. If I die here, I'm gonna be so mad. We just need to kill enough zombies to fill up these tanks. Oh, there's an insta kill. Normally, I'm against using insta-kill in this game. It's mainly for when I'm grinding camos, but I guess I got to use it today. Never mind, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, barely alive, barely alive, barely alive, barely alive. Holding on and I'm dead. Okay, well, I'm going to restart. I'm back to where I was at. Just got to watch this again. Little bitch. And we're skipping it. All right, I'm not going to do that stuff with the Easter egg until I'm a little more prepared. I just saw that we had the trial for that area. And I'm like, you know what? That's like the perfect storm. Apparently not. I need to get this Aether Shroud ready to go. That way we can start doing the pizza thing. But actually, maybe I should start a trial right now. Also, where's the box at? We gotta find the box. Kill zombies in location, cinema, got it. And the box is over here, we can hit that after. All right, well, that trial was pretty useless. We only got it to common, which sucks. Maybe we can get the Crystal Axe from this. First pull, please. Nope, we gotta carve though. All right, one more, one more pull. Oh, we got the Ray Gun, a wonder weapon, but not necessarily the one we're going for. 
Still could be useful, but we need the other one for the, the Easter egg. Nope. Got the QBZ in that time. All right, let's go deliver our pizzas and see if we get anything from that. So let's Aether Shroud on in here. What's going on, Ronald? We'll grab a pizza, open the door, keep moving. First delivery goes right here. What do I get for that one? Essence, we'll take it. Our next delivery goes here in the cinema. There you go, guys. Now I'm gonna need to kill a few zombies here so we have enough to open the door to the bar. What, is the QBZ stuck in here? Is the box stuck open? It is. That's weird. Did I glitch the box out? That sucks if I did. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck. All right, give me payment. Come on, I'll trade you this ray gun for a crystal axe. And this delivery goes into the bar that we just opened. There you go, fellas, lady fellas. All right, Ronald, give me something good. More scrap, perfect, thank you, dude. Dude's literally paying me with pieces of metal for delivering pizzas. And our last delivery goes here in Burger Town. These guys don't like their burgers, so they're getting a pizza instead. And the moment of truth, crystal axe, please. Armor, nice one. Fucking dickhead, sit down. I almost just got myself with that. I gotta chill. Check the reserve ammo, sex. All right, let's start another trial. Kill zombies while crouched, we can do that. Also, for those of you confused why we're doing all these Easter eggs again, uh, the main reason is that if you complete all the main quests here in Cold War Zombies, you get the super Easter egg or super Easter egg. For that, you get your weapon tier upgraded. As you can see, we spawned in here with a blue M16, which is very good. And if you complete all of them, you can get it all the way up to epic. Now there's no zombies around, so I'm wasting this trial. So once we complete this one, and then I think after this is just the outbreak Easter egg, the, the order one, then we'll be able to just spawn into our games with a purple weapon. And that helps a lot for when we're grinding camos over here. And we still have some weapons to grind, so definitely very useful. Oh, and then we have the asteroid coming down, so maybe we should go over there. All right, well, got nothing out of that. I'm heading to Risendrac. Maybe we can get it from there. Hopping on in. Hopefully we don't die from this. We do get quite a bit of zombies coming at you. All right, there we go. Nice well-fed dragon, dragon Ds. See you later, alligator. Please have the crystal axe in here, please. Nope, we got a Howard. Howard D's nuts. Let's start another trial. Enemies with melee attacks, beautiful. Well, I don't have a melee weapon. I guess we can at least start doing uh, this here. We'll go ahead and sit on our, our little asteroid and we'll just melee these zombies. Come here. There you go. There we go. Got our crystal. Oh, we just got two calling cards from that. That's pretty sick. Let's try another trial. What we got? Oh, we got to go to the pizza. Oh, and we have a tormentor here. So I need to buy a molly. Where is it? Lethal. Molly. Okay, it already blew up on me. Great. Perfect. Beautiful. Wasted that. So we do need to kill one of those tormentors with fire to be able to get our crystal. And we kind of just threw there. So I was fumbling on my keys. There's legendary. Okay. Crystal axe, please. Nope. A Galil. We did get a fire sale though. So let's go put this thing to use. Give me crystal axe. Give me crystal axe. Give me crystal axe, please. Tech nine. Same thing. Krieg. Same thing, basically. And the ZRG. Okay. Well, the game just told me to go fuck myself. I need to pick that ray gun back up before it disappears. So at least we'll have that for now. All right, looks like we're going to have to just build it. Every attempt we're making isn't working. And we might as well just start this thing down here. Actually, we should probably get a perk or two first. Yeah, I'm grabbing Deadshot and Elemental. And let's just go ahead and start this thing. We're not going to die during it this time. No, 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 no. No, we went down again. Okay, but that's fine. We can shoot while we're on the ground. No, 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 not again. How did I get stuck there? All right, well, uh, I guess I'll just see you guys when we get this step done. Holy shit. All right, we're basically back to where we were. Uh, besides that step, we're back at the, the meteor and everything just falling down. Uh, I'm going to try to just build the Crystalax. I'm not going to waste my time hitting the box or doing trials or the pizza thing or whatever, because I'm just playing with luck at this point. And I don't think it feel like luck's on my side after I've, uh, you know, died on the first step of the Easter egg twice now. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can, grind up some points, get some perks until we go ahead and do that part of the Easter egg. Because if I die to it again... I'm just gonna have to wait till another day to do this because I'm gonna just be too pissed. All right, we can grab this crystal again. Oh, there's our buddy. Gotta take him out. We'll torment her. Take him out with fire. Did that not kill him? Did we not get our, our crystal from that? Oh, that's bullshit. Maybe they had to walk through the fire for it to count. That's stupid. I've thrown twice on that now. It's probably better just to use a flamethrower for those, but I don't think I had enough salvage to do it. All right, I'm going to throw a dead wire on this. And now we got to head to the arcade. And now this zombie is going to get... Oh, wait. Maybe the next zombie. This zombie's gonna get dead wired. Shock that machine. And then once we have enough, we're gonna need about like another thousand. And we can do the RCXD part. Oh, I hear another tormentor. Okay, let's not shoot it this time. Let's not throw the molly at it, but let's throw a molly down and have it run through it. Is that how we get it? Oh, this is bullshit. So it needs to be with a flamethrower. That so that's fun. 
But we have enough money to do the RCXD step, so we might as well do that. Head on through here, and the zombies broke it immediately. I, I'm getting so unlucky with this. All right, there's not that many zombies now. Let's try this again. Please don't block me. Go ahead, open up. Go in here into this corner. We jump and we blow up. There we go. There's our TV. Now that we're done with dead wire, I'm switching this to shatter blast. Maybe one more try at the box. Please, crystal axe. Nope. Okay, we have enough for a flamethrower. We have a tormentor right here. There we go. Please say that worked. Okay, it looks like it did. Thank God. I got screwed over on that step too many times. So now we're just one crystal away from being able to build our crystal axe. And to get that, we need a abomination to spawn. And we also need the abomination to spawn to get our other neutralizer part. So I'm going to pack punch my gun. I'm going to go try to do this other step and hopefully not die this time. If I die, I'm actually going to freak out, I think. I'll be done attempting this Easter egg for today. All right. Let's see if we can survive. Get a quick Tesla storm on them. Pick up all these points. Let's throw down a decoy. Throw down a molly. That should be enough kills. It's going to be a fat amount, at least. Feels like Rampage Inducer. All I'm doing is inducing Rampage on myself. Okay, another Tesla Storm. Let's try to make it through this. Try to rack up some points, too, while we're at it. Might as well use our Flamethrower a little bit, too. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm going down in the same spot I did before. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm staying up. Never mind. Okay, use our Self Revive. Okay, we actually did it. We completed it. Holy shit. We still went down, but we completed it. That's all that matters. Woo! So now we just need an abomination to spawn in, and we need to just not kill it. I also need a self-revive and a quick revive, like right now, just to make sure. Oh, there's an abomination right there. Perfect. There's our quick revive. Let's try to get this guy to charge at us over here. There we go. There's that charge. Beautiful. Knock the part down. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And now we just need him to shoot his little laser beams at one of these crystals. Oh, he's already doing his laser over there. So we're going to need to give him a minute. I guess I can try to take out these zombies for now. All right, come over here, Abomination. Come laser this crystal. Right here, this one. Nope, he's charging. There's the laser. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We broke that. He took out the rest of the zombies in the round, but that's fine. So now we got this. Now let's do this. Throw the crystals in the vat. And now we need to get 10 melee kills next to it. I'm just trying to get a Tesla Storm before we attempt this, though. That way I don't die. Okay, one more kill. There we go. Tesla Storm. Let's get these melee kills going. Okay, this should just about do it. That's enough. Perfect. We got our crystal axe, baby. Come here. One of the coolest wonder weapons in this game. Coolest looking, but uh, definitely not the best. Uh, at round 30, it starts to become a two-shot kill, which is not good. But we got to take out these orbs. So let's do that. Grab a quick carpenter. Get that armor repaired. Okay, now we need to switch this back to axe form. Bust that open. Grab that crystal shard. That's going to be our tactical. And there's got to be another abomination somewhere. There he is. Eat that. Chew on it. There you go. And let's take him out. Oh, hold on. We'll take him out in a second. We're getting bombarded right now. A whole lot of shit going on over here. All right. There we go. Come here. Come step into this. Oh, we can actually use this as well. Enjoy that abomination. I know you love the heat. There we go. Now we can grab that. And now we got it partially filled. Now we just need to do that two more times with each crystal. All right, our next one's right here. Let's take out these little guys. Come on, last orb. There we go. Switch the mode on it. Bust it down. There we go. Now we just got to wait for another one to show up. Wait, do I have two on me already? How does that happen? Oh, three spawned. Here you go, pal. Eat up. Enjoy. There you go. And now stand on that axe. Okay, that actually hurts a lot. I'm gonna need you to fuck off, Abomination. Got our self-revive back. We're back in business. Let's get this Abomination down. Should probably go pick up another one of those crystals first, though. I don't know why three dropped out of this one, but I'm down to hold one if it means we get to skip it. There we go. Get back, zombies. Let's pick up that crystal, that shard. We just need one more. But first, I'm going to pack a punch the Crystal Axe. There's pack one, and that's all we can do for right now. We need five or more points to do it again. But let's head back to spawn and do our last crystal. Because even if we already have the thing to throw, actually, it disappeared. I guess we just get three attempts. I didn't know that. But I was going to say, even if we already have our thing to throw, I think destroying the crystal spawns in another abomination, so we're good. But here we go. Broke it open. Grab that. That just ended the round, which sucks. Where's our abomination? Here he is. Eat that up. Hope you enjoyed your last meal. 
Because now you're dead. Little bitch. Got it. Okay, so now... We can go right to the boss fight, but I kind of want to get more set up first. You guys saw me struggling on that first step. I don't think the boss fight's going to be, like, any easier. So, I should get some perks, get this thing pack-a-punched, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm more set up. All right, it took a few rounds, but I finally have enough to get this pack three. I also have basically every perk besides Meal Kick and Tombstone. I don't think I'm gonna get Tombstone, but I might go pick up Meal Kick real quick just for that added uh, ammo drop. And we could get, uh, what's it called? Our Tacticals and Lethals back uh, after throwing them, so that's useful. But I think we're just a little short. Yeah, we need 500 more points. All right, that should be good. Unfortunately, that was the last zombie in the round, though. So we had to add another round to our total here. But let's go ahead, add Mule Kick down. Now let's go build this, what is it called? Neutralizer? And <laughs> get this thing started. All right, hopefully we can build this without getting attacked. There we go. That's a fast build. Perfect. Now it's warming up. All right, let's grab it. Let's go. Neutralizer's online. All these zombies get out of here and let's get moving. Okay, so we need to just... Escort this thing down the street. Grab some fuel for it from these little crystals that spawn. We should be good. I can't believe how much we had to do to give it fuel. And then it runs out after like 20 feet. Actually absurd. So let's grab this. Grab a little fuel. Fill it in. We'll grab this right here as well. Toss it on in. And this would be a much cooler thing to do in Outbreak than escort those little drones. At least it looks a lot cooler. Now let's climb the ladder. Grab this one. Load it in. Did I ever pick it up? I don't think so. No, I did not. There we go. Hopefully that's enough to make it to the end. It might not be though. But at least there's a few crystals on the ground here that we can grab. Okay, is this enough to get in? That should be. We're so close. Please don't make me climb up. That should be good. Don't you run out of fuel on me now. Beautiful. Yep, and then just fall over. Get teabagged. Aw, it's sad. Teabag it still. Alright, we have one last ditch effort here to grab whatever we need we already have a death machine i already have basically all my perks i guess tombstone's there but we don't even have enough uh, our armor's fully upgraded our weapon here we don't really need to upgrade but i guess i'll upgrade it just in case uh we can't pack a punch it really it already has an ammo mod we have ammo we have three c4s two gershes and i guess all that's left to do is take on this boss fight so let's go do it what's up forsaken foreskin how's it going man let's start taking out his armor Gotta destroy his shoulder pad. And once that thing's busted, we can have Maxis fill up our little cannon over here. So we should probably just get the cannon filled first. Probably the smarter option. This thing's actually kind of nasty in these early rounds. It's just when you get to round 30, it's when it really falls off. Plus ratio, plus YB better. We just gotta get these shoulder pads off of them. There's one. Let's see if we can get the shot. Let's use the cannon, line it up, and fire. Get fucked. Look at that. 10,000 damage. Stop moving, please, sir. I don't think we did enough. Yeah, definitely bad luck. He regenerated it. Okay, that's on me. Let's have Maxis just fuel up another cannon. That's fine. At least there isn't a time limit on this boss fight, and at least I don't have to play, like, eight waves of Outbreak, but I did just get fucking annihilated. Holy shit. Okay, that's not good. I definitely need to play this a lot safer now. Fuck it. Taking out the arm. Get fucked. Please stop moving, though. Okay, I think that worked. We got that done. I'm gonna use my Aether Shroud or whatever this is called, Frenzy Guard, just to get my shit back. I'm gonna hide from him because I'm scared. I don't know what move he's doing, but it looks like it does a lot. All right, Maxis, let's get this cannon filled. Okay, every time he starts to do a move, I'm hiding behind this thing because I'm terrified. I do not want to die during this Easter egg again. I will be so upset. All right, the Maxis cannon is filled. Now I just need to take out his other shoulder pad. Come on. We're close. Extremely close. Gonna need a little more ammo for this, though. I gotta slice some dudes up to get it. Okay. Finish off that arm. Never mind, he's attacking. I'm running for my life. Okay, last shoulder is gone. There we go. Let's take on the cannon. Get fucked, pal. Please don't move around too much. There you go. Nice and easy. Okay, let's fill up another Maxis cannon. Uh-oh. I forgot about this cutscene. Ooh, I thought I just died. That's scary. Sure, I'll see how the story ends. Oh, nobody escapes. Guess what? Teabag, teabag, teabagged. All of you getting teabagged. Don't care. Oh, let's go, Maxis. Pull us out. Oh, I'm going to hide again. We don't need that. I'm so scared to just be in front of the Forsaken. Oh, Panzer. What are you doing here? All right, turret's ready. 
I just need a little more ammo for my crystal axe and we can go ahead and take out his head armor. Okay, let's light his dome up. Oh wait, or is it, it's his chest, it's his abdomen. There we go. Uh oh, nope, running away. I don't fuck with him when he's doing those attacks. No, sir. Might need a little more ammo for this thing than I thought. Actually, you know what? We can just use our death machine. There's a reason why we got it. Okay, this abomination is getting annoying. First of all, you need to die, sir. See you later. Bring out the death machine. There we go. That fucks up his armor. I should have been doing that the whole time. All right. See you later, alligator. Get the fuck out of here. Does this kill it? I think it does. It should. Oh, no. We need to fill him up one more time. I'm pretty sure. All right, Maxis. Let's get this filled up. One last ride. Unless he's doing a crazy attack, then I'm fucking running for my life. This dude got to stop attacking for like two seconds. There we go. She's filled up. Oh, no. I don't fuck with those. I'm running away from those. Get those big electric spiders away from me. Perfect. All right. Lighten up the dome. There we go. Onto the gun. Well, bye, bitch. See you later. Get the fuck out of here. Forsaken, more like foreskin. Sit down. We're done. We did it. Oh, what's happening now? I don't remember this part. Oh, wait. No, this is the fake out. Ooh. Let's pop our frenzy guard. Maybe this can help. Oh, no. Rabbin off. Where'd he go? Get him, Maxis. Take him out. Take him out. It is the only way, Maxis. Ooh, right into his front butt. Bye, bitch. There we go. We got it done. I saw the Dark Ops challenge pop up. Thank God we finished this main quest. Ooh. We only got one more left to do, and that's the Orta one. There you go. The world's biggest soul box is getting filled. And now he's asleep. And we actually just saved the world. This is also a very cool area. I like this area a lot. Kind of weird that this was the last Easter egg. Like, this is to finish off the game in terms of, like, story. But, uh, we still have a whole nother one to do. Also, this cutscene has music in it that's copyrighted. So, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the ending cutscene. There's a director. There's his dick. Wait a minute. Who's the director, though? <gasps> oh my god. And that's the worst part of the whole Easter egg. Peck still being alive. I really hope I get to kill him in, some, in the next game. He needs to die. All right, now that we're done with the Easter egg, we can come here on Zoo and Outbreak and go ahead and add on to our pact. So we just broke the pact. Hold on. Now we need to do it again. Oh, please don't kill me. I just want to do this. Oh, that fire is hurting. Hurting for a squirting. All right, now let's do it again. Now we're making the pact. Go ahead and lift me up when the edible hits. Very nice of the zombies to sit and wait, but we have everything done except for the Orda Outbreak Easter egg, which kind of says a lot about its popularity, I think, uh, since you guys have been voting on what Easter eggs to do and like what order. But that's the only one we have left to do, and we are completely done with the Super Easter egg. We would have have done all of our main quests here in Cold War Zombies. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go, leave, go ahead and leave a like on it. <laughs> Can't speak again. Uh, if you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, follow me on Twitter, trying to get to the point where I can just shit post and get a lot of likes. If you want to help me out, uh, go ahead and head on over there. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.